Hi, this is Maciek from Shop Magic, and today I would like to show you how easy it is to create automations in Shop Magic. So, after installing the plugin, uh, you'll see a Shop Magic menu in your Word WordPress dashboard. And to create your first automation, just click the Add New link. We are on, already on this page. Um, and first of all, uh, you should create a name for your automation. So uh, it is only visible uh, to you. The customers uh, won't see uh, this name. I just uh, created a title called My First Automation. Next, you should create an event. So let's assume that we want to send an email to our customers uh, as soon as they uh, complete their purchase. So there are a bunch of events connected with orders or customers. If we want to send an email when the order is completed, just select the order completes, uh, completed um, event. Um, by doing this, uh, you are making sure that after uh, the customer finishes his checkout process, and he pays for the order, the email will be sent. Next, uh, you can limit uh, the email to, for example, selected products. Uh, if you want to do it, uh, just create a new filter group and select order items filter. And now you can limit the results to selected products, for example, to a hoodie with a pocket. Um, you can also uh, exclude uh, products by selecting matches none filter. Uh, we will skip it in our example. It's not uh, uh, important for our scenario. And we want to send an email to or our to all our orders. Next, uh, let's create an action. Uh, you can select a send email action and by doing this, uh, you will send an email to your customer. There are a bunch of fields. The description is totally optional and only for your reference. Then there is the to field and you should place a placeholder here the customer email placeholder is replaced with the actual customer email when the email is sent. Then uh, you can create a subject. So for example, your order is completed. Then you can also um, write a heading and select a template. We will use a default WooCommerce template in our example, but you can also uh, select none and create your own template. And next, uh, we will create a message. So I already have one uh, in my clipboard. Um, so I will put it here. Uh, it's a really easy uh, message to our customer that we got his order and uh, we are preparing uh, his items and uh, we'll ship it. Uh, but as you can see, there are some missing information uh, in our email. Uh, for example, uh, there are no uh, products that were bought, there is uh, no total and there is no customer first name. And this is really important because you don't want to write John or Anna here. Uh, you want to uh, also choose a placeholder that will be replaced with the actual customer's information. So, for example, if you want to uh, display the customer's first name, just select the, uh, this placeholder. You can easily uh, copy uh, the code and let's just uh, put it here. So the customer first name plus holder will be replaced with the actual customer name. Then when you want to uh, show a table with products, you can choose the order details placeholder and we'll copy it and also paste in the message. 
Uh, and last of all, uh, if we want to also display uh, the order total, just look for order total placeholder, copy it, and you can also paste it here. So there are a bunch of placeholders. There is also, a, as you saw, a nice um, search, um, and you can use uh, any placeholders that uh, that you want. So let's say that we are now happy with what we uh, accomplished. Let's click uh, update. And now uh, we can also send a test, uh, a test email to see how the um, how the message uh, looks um, in, in our example. So let's click it and you can uh, you will see your email uh, from your uh, WordPress profile here, but you can also select any other uh, email here. Just click send and the email has been sent. Uh, we'll see uh, how the email looks in our logs. Uh, so the email has already been sent. You can see that the email uh, is here. The subject that we created is here and the content looks like this. So. Hi Maciej, the placeholder was replaced with my actual name. Um, here is the uh, order details uh, table uh, that we used the order details placeholder. And uh, here you can also see that the total uh, of the order was, uh, was uh, replaced. Uh, the, it replaced the, the order total placeholder. So this is basically the very introduction to Shop Magic. I hope that uh, yeah, it's uh, easy for you and that you like the plugin. Thank you and see you.